All right, and Mark, ironically, we're coming to you at the technology show, and we have some technological issues, but we'll pick it up. And you were telling me about some of the big automakers that have a very large presence at this year's show with uh, a lot of innovations in the car tech space, from the Internet of Cars to self-driving cars. What's going on there in the auto space, Mark? That's right. This is the first time that nine of the top 10 automakers in the world are actually joining us here at CES. And uh, BMW, uh, driverless cars have been uh, making big waves here. Chevrolet with a, a 4G broadband uh, Wi-Fi hotspot that can connect, can connect seven devices. And also Ford, which has introduced the actual uh, design of a solar-powered vehicle. And here joining me now live is Mike Tinsky. He is the uh, global director of vehicle uh, electrification. Mike, what about this solar power car? Um, you know, what can it do? Yeah, we're really excited about this car because it's the first time a manufacturer has actually demonstrated that we could put solar on the top of a vehicle and then couple it with some very unique infrastructure, what we call a concentrator. And what you end up with is a, is a vehicle that we call the CMAX Solar Energy Concept that can actually be 100% powered by the sun. And this is the first time that any that kind of significant energy has really been able to be harnessed for transportation. And it really shines, no pun intended, a bright light on where we might be able to go next. What's the time frame for this vehicle? When might it come out? So we've, uh, we've proven the concept. So our C-Max Energy has about an 8 kilowatt hour battery. And we are able to replenish that battery using the sun. Our next steps are really to prove that we can do that anywhere in the world, whether it's northern, southern, China, U.S., and so we're really going to take it uh, to the next to the next level and really prove that out. Will this car still have gasoline? It, it can. In fact, it actually could run on three fuels. So, uh, in its traditional format, it runs on uh, electric for 21 miles, and then it can switch over to gasoline for another 600 plus. Or, in this case, we actually recharge that battery 100% from the sun, and then we get the same uh, 620 miles on gasoline. So. We're really excited about this in particular for the potential, not only in the U.S., but also in China. What kind of speeds um, are you dealing with now? I mean, is it in that state where we can actually say that it can reach full speed, or is speed not a problem? Speed is not a problem. Our vehicle does all electric up to 84, 85 miles per hour. So for most of the world, that's very sufficient. And then if you go speeds higher than that, it uses its gasoline engine. What allows this technology? I mean, what's behind it in harnessing the power of the sun? <clears throat> So this is where I think we're the real innovation. So we, we take, we've taken our C-Max energy when we put the cells, the solar panels on, on the vehicle, but that only gave us about one eighth of what we needed. So the next step was really to put a giant magnifying glass, now giant meaning it's about four meters by five meters, and the vehicle parks under that when you're at work, at home, wherever you spend your daylight hours. And then while you're doing whatever you do at work, the vehicle, as the sun traverses the sky, the, the vehicle moves autonomously and actually keeps that lens focused on the vehicle. So we've, we've really reduced the cost, yet gained all the benefits of using the sun. Thank you very much, Mike, for joining us. We will eagerly watch the events of what Ford does with this and, and see if this power of the sun can really be harnessed. Thanks for joining okay. us. Thank you for having me.